And Gianna literally just wooed in Amber's bed. Uh, and she's gonna tell her that. Hey everybody, it's me, Belladonna, and I am here with the first part of The Sims 4, Sydney Levine. I cannot believe I'm actually saying it. Finally. 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 It is here. <laughs> City Living is finally here, and I am so excited, you guys. I am so excited. I've been dreaming about this since the day I saw the trailer. So, you know, your girl is excited like there is nobody's business. I've never been excited for an expansion pack for The Sims, like, and I can't even remember the last time I was this excited. And I am so excited, you guys. I'm really excited. Um, oh, where do I start? Okay, I guess I'll introduce myself. My name is Crystal. Uh, I go by Belladonna, the whoop, Belladonna here on YouTube. I'm 20 years old. I'm about to turn 21 soon, but I'm 20 right now. Um, I've been doing LPs for about two months, so yes. Yes, I am a noob. I know, I know, I know. I am a total noob. I am, oh my gosh, I am a noob. Noob, noob, noob. Okay, I'm a noob, so yeah, but hopefully you don't judge me. <laughs> uh, please don't judge, please don't judge me, please. I'm, I'm not that, I'm not that bad, I don't think. <laughs> so um, yeah, and we're gonna be doing City Levine. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. This is my Sam. <laughs> this is my Sam. This is, um, Toby. His face is literally my face right now. Like, oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, and then I forget to mention I'm, I'm kind of crazy. I'm kind of crazy. So, just letting you know. Just letting you know. But this is Toby Acosta. Um, he is, I, I don't want to say my main Sim, but I guess. He's kind of the focus. He's not even really the focus, but he's probably the reason why we're in this apartment right now as we speak, okay? Um, as you can see, he's in the politician career because that's what he wants to do. Um, I will go ahead and just hold that on for the back burner for a moment and let me um, tell you his story, tell you his background. Um, Toby comes from a... Um, middle-class family in the suburbs um he he really didn't like his upbringing only because his family had old-fashioned values um he didn't really care for their republicanish values and just saying there's nothing wrong with being a republican you know what i'm saying but as for toby he just did not care about those republican values that um his parents forced on him and he felt like, he, oops, I almost got the machine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He almost felt like um, he was smothered, honestly, truly. Like he was smothered by his parents um, and that he and that he really didn't have a choice on who he wanted to be. It's like his parents gave him, you know, a mandatory, I guess it was basically, I guess he, Basically, he just didn't really get to grow up um, exploring uh, what kind of person he wanted to be because his parents pretty much um, forced him into being something that he didn't want to be with their old-fashioned uh, beliefs and values. And considering that Toby really um, admired liberal um, liberal values, you know, his parents did not really care for that. And him and his parents really argued a lot on their beliefs and opinions and values. Like it was always World War, World War Three in the house. Like it was, it was, it was madness. It was so mad. It was madness, you know. And um, so when Toby turned eighteen, which is literally not that long ago, he packed his stuff and he got the H out of town, out of those suburbs, and he moved to San Machino. But there was one problem. He didn't have any money. He didn't have that moolah. He didn't have that money. You know, he didn't have that change. You know, he didn't have that. He didn't have that. So um, what he did was he go. He went onto the internet, and 
he went on Sims List, aka Craigslist that we know and love. But since this is Sims, we're gonna call it Sims List. So, um, yeah, he went on Sims List and he put up an ad to Roomies Wanted. Um, so basically, who answered the ad? First, we'll go with Miss Gianna Kelly, which she's all the way over here chatting with a neighbor. Mm hmm. And it's really not that strange for Gianna to be doing this. Okay, okay, okay. It is not strange at all. So, um, G Gianna Kelly, she is my Irish queen. Um, She's born and raised in San Machino, but she is full-blooded Irish. Her parents were born and raised in Ireland, and just a few years before she was born, they moved here in San Machino. So, um, she pretty much didn't really have any drama or anything going like that in her life. A pretty normal life, um, but when she turned 21, which, yes, she is 21, so she's a little bit older than Toby, um... She decided that she wanted to move on her own and do her own thing for once because Gianna kind of grew up kind of spoiled. I mean, she was never rich or anything, but, you know, you don't have to be rich to be spoiled, honestly, truly. So, um, she was kind of spoiled, which is why she stayed with her parents for so long until now when she's 21. Because most people move out when they're 18. But no, she chose at 21 to move out of her parents' house. So, um... Now that she's moved out, um, she had a little move on. She had a little change, which you see right here. This is what they're sitting on, pretty much. And um, she moved. She um, she answered Toby's uh, roomy wanted ad, and Toby was like, "This is an angel," cause you know Toby's a guy, you know, and he liked what he saw. And you know, with Gianna's um, personality, she's super outgoing, super vivacious. Kind of promiscuous, mm -hmm. you know. Toby, he couldn't resist. He was definitely liking what he saw, and it was just he—he he loved the idea of living with someone who looked like that. Okay, so and Gianna, she loves attention. She loves the spotlight. So of course she loved the attention that she's that she was getting from Toby. Because in the beginning, it was honestly just Toby and Gianna. So they kind of flirted every now and again, but um, it really didn't last that long. I mean, they're, they still flirt every now and then, but you know, it didn't really last that long for them, for it just being the two of them, is what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, Amber came along, and she is such a queen. She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at her, though. She's so cute. I love her, even though Toby's man hands are in my way. But I'll take a picture of this. <laughs> so cute. Um, Amber came along, and pretty much, um, she's from India, and um, she literally just moved to San Machino just a few, couple of weeks ago or so. And she answered Toby's roommate wanted ad, and Toby was like, oh. I am the luckiest man alive. I am living with two hot chicks. You know, he, he that's what, it, you know, he can't, he couldn't resist. He couldn't resist. Honestly, truly, the only reason why Gianna and Amber are even living with Toby is because they're pretty, okay? Like, you know, he couldn't resist. He couldn't resist living with two hot girls. <laughs> he couldn't resist, okay? Okay, could you blame him? Could you blame him? Could you blame him? No, you couldn't. You know, you couldn't. So, um, yeah. Back to Amber. Uh, she's from India. Um, her parents are well. Her whole, her whole, ooh, ooh, what? Her her whole family is um, involved around food. Perhaps I guess that's how you could say it. You know, everything about her family revolves around food. You know, her grandmother was a successful chef. Her mother is a chef. Her father works at a restaurant, you know, everything is about food for them. And they really, um, I guess, expected for Amber to continue that food legacy and become some kind of successful chef like her grandmother or her mom. But um, the sad part is Amber just cannot cook. <laughs> she can't cook. Like, her food is just not that great whenever she cooks it. And it's nowhere near like her mother's food when she cooks it or her grandmother's food like it's really bad and 
you know, her family would be lying to you if they told you that they were disappointed in the fact that Amber is not going to continue her legacy in, you know, food, you know, in joining a career with involving food, you know, because food is pretty much their life. I mean, they're not a bunch of fatties or anything, but, um, just kidding, but, um, they do love food and they love to cook and Amber cannot cook that well. Um, so Amber kind of felt like a failure, honestly, because she, she knew that she disappointed her family. I mean, her family wasn't going to go up to her face and be like, Amber, you, you are a disappointment. You, you can't cook for shit. Oh, no, no, it wasn't like that. Uh, <laughs> but you could tell on their face that they were disappointed, but they will still tell Amber, you know, we're so proud of you. You know, you're our daughter, you know, we love you, all that jazz, but they're a little disappointed. So Amber really wants to impress her family and make them proud. So she saw an ad for a food critic possible job here in San Machino. So she answered it and she's starting at level one. Where is it? A level one of the critic job, which is a paper deliverer. You know, it's really not what she wants right now. She has to work her way up, but she's perfectly fine because she wants to show her parents that she's willing to work and do the work to become successful, to become somebody. So she decided to move all across San Machino, which is in Samarica, which is in the USS, United States of Samarica. Yes, Samarica equals America if you do not get it. But um, <laughs> yeah, um, she moved here in San Machino. She hasn't been living here for like not only like for like two weeks of course she does speak english by the way or some english whatever you want to call it like she knows the language so it's it's cool it's cool because she's a sim and i can do that but um she's she's not really familiar with the cultures and the traditions of samarica so she's really naive and but you know even though she's naive she has a good soul she's a good person and Toby, even though, you know, he's, he's, I guess, a good person, he really is trying to take advantage of her good soul by trying to make a move on Amber. So you see that uh, friendship meter? He's trying to be the closest he can get pl platonically to get to her romantically. And ever since she's been here in this house, Toby's attention has honestly been on Amber. Not that he doesn't like looking at Gianna, but Amber is just, he, what attracts him to Amber is her good soul, her naiveness. She's different than any other girl that he's ever met, you know? She's different. And Gianna hates it. <laughs> Gianna's hated Amber from the day she walked in the door because she stole her spotlight, you know? Because when it was just her and Toby, Toby was giving Gianna that attention. And ever since Amber has moved into this apartment, she hasn't been getting that attention from Toby, you know, not that she can't get it from any other man because look, she's getting the attention from this guy, you know, so, but you know, she likes attention from everybody, which is why she's in the social media career. Well, she's not right now, but she will be, <laughs> she will be, um, what was, oh, her traits, her traits, her traits. I want to show you guys her traits, um, right here, the head. Um, this is Gianna Kelly. She's a young adult. Of course, she's hot headed. So yes. She might be friendly, she might be vivacious, but do not piss her off. Do not piss her off because she will go off on you. You know, she she has the she has a tendency to be angry, like you know, like her trait says, you know. It doesn't take her it doesn't take much for her to get pissed, honestly. Um she's also romantic, she's a flirt she loves to flirt oh gosh she's very promiscuous she loves to flirt she loves to get around she likes to sleep around she doesn't really do commitment too often but you know hey she likes she likes to have her fun okay she likes to have her fun so yeah she's also very outgoing as you can see she's talking up a storm with this guy over here because she's really just trying to trying to get a little physical with him and later on that's all she's that's the only reason why she's talking she thinks she's she thinks he's cute, so. And home turf. Um, these Sims become happy when they are in their hometown. And this comes from the city naive, city naive, city native aspiration. <laughs> I can't talk, I can't talk. Okay, 
This comes from the city native aspiration. Um, and this comes from city living, of course. So yeah. And for Amber Street, Amber Vora, uh, she's a vegetarian, which comes from city living as well. Also, another trait that comes with city living is the unflirty um, trait, but no one is unflirty. Um, if she, if um, Amber had four traits, if I could choose her four traits, unflirty um, would definitely be her trait. But I felt like these three traits that she has right now were way more important than her being unflirty. Um, okay, so I was just doing some, um, I guess, uh, what was the word? Um, prioritizing. So, yeah. Um, she's a foodie, even though she can't cook, she does love food. It's in her family, it's in her blood. Um, she knows good food when she sees it, and she knows bad food when she sees it, even though she can't cook. So, <laughs> and she's good. She's a good Sam. She has a good Sam. Good Sam, Sam, Sam. Okay. She's a good Sam. <laughs> and, you know, she has a good soul. You know what I'm saying? She's just a good person. And she's a muser because she has the writer aspiration or something, creative aspiration, because they don't have the food critic aspiration, which is kind of a bummer, but yeah. Um, and this is Toby. He's an art lover. He's outgoing. He's creative. And he's a that word from choosing a popularity aspiration because they don't have politician aspiration, which is also a bummer. It's a bummer. Okay, so I think I think, I think we can, I think we can. No, I think we're done introducing all of these sims and we can finally play some games. Okay, what is that? What's that? A hat? No, I'm kidding. Um, there's like random trash right there, okay. Um, so Gianna, she's really trying to get inside this guy's pants, okay. Like, can you blame him? Can you blame him? He's looking kind of good, okay? Like, they have some hot sims in this L in this expansion pack. Like, I saw it in the trailer, honey, and I was very impressed by the daddies in this, um, in this expansion pack. Oh, he's lazy. Uh, not that she cares. <laughs> she really doesn't care. Um, he's gonna tell an engaging story. He's a bookworm. She's really not impressed because he's a nerd. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, she's really... She doesn't really like to read very much. She likes to party and blow and party and blow. Uh huh. You know, she's that kind of girl, and she's also quite manipulative. Um, she could get anyone under her fing um, around her finger, around her thumb, if she wanted to. She really feels like she can do whatever she wants, and she can use her looks to get away with just about anything. You know. So yeah, she's a mess. She's a mess, and I hope you're ready, because she's, she's going to bring the drama for you. Um, okay, so they're getting along pretty well. Pretty, pretty well. Um, ooh, she's so pretty. Um, I'm trying to click on Amber. Well, let me click on Amber. Okay. Oh, she's just sitting on her bed like a loser. No, I'm just kidding. Um... I want Toby to try and talk to her for a little bit, and then, um, I really want us to, why can't we do that? You need to click on your sim and choose a cause before you promote a cause. Hmm? I, what? We can get to pick a cause. I, I don't know. We can choose simoleons for everyone, that would be cool. Choose no sim left behind. Oh, really? Okay. Choose Foundation for Less, Mischief, uh, choose World United, choose Speak for the Trees. I won't choose Simoleons for everyone, because who don't want that moolah? <laughs> uh, so we're going to do that and see what happens, because I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I didn't know you could do that. Click on your sim and you can do something like that. Okay, so you've chosen a cause to support. Um, I don't know what else you can do with that. Can you just... He can promote it to someone, so I guess he's gonna promote it to my girl Amber. I saw it. I don't see it no more. <laughs> Think we can do it over here? Okay. Um. Yeah. And Gianna wants to woohoo, so um. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, gonna compliment his appearance. She like she wants to woo. Like let her woohoo. Okay. Gonna maybe get a first kiss in there, maybe? Let's see what happens. 
Did she get this man? What's his name? I don't even know his name. That's sad. Salem? I think I pronounced it Salem like the cat. <laughs> um, ooh, yes. Hunty. Um, let's see. Since they kissed, uh, this is actually Gianna's bedroom, but since they're in it, uh, I don't know. Maybe this could be Gianna's bedroom. I don't know. But yeah, this is Toby's bedroom. I didn't give you a tour of the house. I'm so bad. This is um, supposed to be Amber's bedroom. But, you know, Gianna would totally woohoo in her bed just to rile up Amber a little bit because Amber is always so happy and cheerful and a goody two shoes and she wants to get Amber at that level. So you know what? Let's let's have Gianna woohoo in Amber's bed. Or we can't. <laughs> Maybe I gotta do it over here. Hold on. Why can't I woohoo? Did y'all take that out? Or maybe they're not, they're probably not at that level yet. That's probably why. Um, and I could totally get them at that level though. Ooh, very flirty. Mmm. Ooh, daffy. Hunty. Okay. <laughs> I'm so weird. I'm so crazy. Oh my gosh. Um, they're exchanging numbers. Um, still can't woo. Did he promote the cause? Oh, there's Sadie at the bed. He was like, this bed is going to have a lot of memories, even though this is Gianna's bed. But, <laughs> um, maybe talk about art. I guess you're still promoting the cause. No, you're done promoting the cause. You're just talking. Uh, I didn't get to see you promote the cause, so I want to see that. Um, Gianna's trying to woohoo. Okay, we can do it. Where is he going? We invite you in here. Did you give him an apartment key? I hope you didn't. Okay, Amber has listened to Toby's passionate remarks about the cause and is feeling inspired to take action. Congrats on successfully promoting the cause. That's cool. We should probably go around town and do something like that. Um, so Gianna is going to woohoo. It is woohoo madness already. Ooh, yes, 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 hunty. Let's see. It's gonna happen. And this is just a woohoo to her. Like, no strings attached. Even though, who knows what Salem is thinking. But you know, a different day, different man. It's Gianna's motto. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Yes, hunty. I hope I have my mod turned off because I don't want her getting pregnant like Kenzie did. Anyway. <laughs> Not this early in LP, hunty. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to check. <laughs> Cause, uh. Okay, it says yeez, even though they're still doing it. That's the longest woohoo. They stayed in there forever. Okay. Okay, she's good. She's good. She's good, y'all. <gasps> thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Um, so, a no pregnancy here tonight. She woohooed successfully. Now get out of my house. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna tell him, you know, bye. I don't want to see you no more. <laughs> like, that's literally all that she wanted to do, you know? How do you say bye? Probably goodbye. And no duh. Um, I don't see it. It's not here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> ooh, ooh, he wanted some more. Mm-hmm. Toby's so jealous. <laughs> I'm just joking. He doesn't, I don't even think he knew what was happening back there. I mean, he, look at him just looking at Amber. That's all he's focused on is Amber. And Gianna literally just woohooed in Amber's bed. Uh, and she's gonna tell her that, like, um, your bed is pretty pretty cool, by the way. She's gonna no, not ask for a love life. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Um, maybe just give her a little insult, maybe. Rile up, you know, because you know I just wooed in your bed. 
She's like walking around in my lingerie, <laughs> lingerie. like Toby. Look at these puppies. No, <laughs> and Toby, he's definitely looking. She's like, did you seriously just do that in my bed? Like seriously, Gianna? You know, you don't do that in someone's bed. You know, she's kind of annoyed by that. That at the fact that Gianna just did the did the nasty in her bed when she could have just did it in her own bed but it didn't happen it didn't happen that way um so yeah she's gonna flirt with toby a little bit um let's see um compliment his appearance amber's gone she's still working like that totally did not bother her that much you know she's a little annoyed but she's still happy and perky which really annoys gianna because she wants her to get mad she wants her to get angry she wants her to get pissed you know she wants to have amber do something instead of being happy all the time like that annoys gianna so much you have no idea um so since gianna has had her woohoo madness actually truly Let's uh, let's see if we can if we can get a little far here. I'm gonna have them maybe try to woo who, <laughs> cause Gianna she likes Toby, you know. She'll like anybody, honestly. <laughs> like she's such a she's such a slug. She's such a slug. She is the city bull. Like I don't even know how to pronounce. She is the city. You know. She, she and she knows it she doesn't really care she likes to have fun you know um and amber since she's really not doing anything i want her to go around town like toby is really digging her and i don't even think she really really even knows that toby likes her so i know there's a little park with the okay here it is i think this is so cool you can get here without any loading screens that is so cool um, we're gonna go down here and see what is up with the town. Um, this is totally over 30 minutes, I'm sure. I'm probably gonna end it in about 5 to 10. But, um, ooh, look at that. I don't think that's a mime or anything, but it's pretty crazy. Um, crazy. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of Sims are here. I can recognize a few of them, like her. She's from Get Together, I believe. Um, they go that nasty alpha here. Um, I think she's from Nancy Dottie. I think that's her name. Okay, so Amber's here. Yeah, like that totally really didn't bother her that much. She's really not angry because she's such a good soul, you know. Um, I wonder how far Gianna are getting. Where did he go? Hmm, weird. Okay. Um, don't know where he went. Oh, he's in the bathroom. So, uh, Gianna, she has a mission. She has a mi mission. A mission. What was I about to say? Ooh, girl. Um, uh, she got a mission. Um, we're gonna try and help her get that mission. Two woohoos in the same day, though. That would have been iconic. That's that's a pretty iconic, right? Um. Let's see how far she can get. Um, because they're both feeling pretty flirty, so exchange numbers even though they live in the same house. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so um let's see who's here. What can we do? There's not a market or a geek on or anything going on. I forgot what they have in Oh yeah, by the way. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We live in the arts quarter. <laughs> I totally forgot to say that. We live in the arts quarter. Um and our traits for the house, um, we have two, I believe. We have gnomes and some penny pixies or something like that. And then we get to choose another one. I want to do that on camera. We're probably not going to do any exploring in this part because I, I went too far explaining everything else and just trying to get y'all familiar with our with the Sims, you know? So, um, yeah, gnomes, broken things just seem to be seem to get menin men overnight as if kindly gnomes watch over the place. That's pretty cool. Um, Penny Pixies, Sims often find loose change around the place. It's like the, their secret money, 
scary or something, which I ain't complaining about that. Secret money. Hey. Um, what else should we get? Okay. Um, what is on key line? Full of funky, fertile earth energy. Twins are born here more often than not. No thanks. Maybe if this was generations or something, then maybe. Uh, what is child's play? Can you sing just can't can you can you Okay. Can you sing just to learn faster? You mean it? Ooh, party place. Parties just seem to go well at this place. Meeting social event goals becomes much easier. That's pretty cool. I really want romantic aura because um yes. Romantic aura makes it easier to get people in the mood for love. Mm -hmm. But we gotta get that. We gotta get that, you guys. <laughs> We gotta get that. Okay. Um, like, Gianna would have so much luck, you know? Okay, so we got our three traits. Um, we saw the park. We're gonna explore more. Not the park. I don't even know what it's called, honestly. But we explored that part a little bit. There's no market or anything going on right now. It's just people being people. People are people, so why should it be? Y'all don't know that song. Y'all don't know the song. Who sings that song? Um, people are people. I forgot. <laughs> I honestly forgot. Um, they sing Personal Jesus, though. The people who sing it, but I can't think of the name. I can't think of the band name for nothing. Um, First Kiss? Ooh, yes. Like, they flirted a couple times before, but, you know, this is as far as it's gotten. <laughs> And it's just the two of them. Like, Gianna likes it because Amber is out. Um, they are exchanging numbers. Let's speed it up a little bit. She is on a roll. Um, sexy pose, maybe? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, yes, girl, yes. She's not gonna woo in Amber's bed anymore. Like, she's over that, because apparently it didn't make Amber very mad anyway. Um, hold on, because I'm kind of scared about something. <laughs> uh, I have a my, I believe. Or not, maybe? Okay, I thought I had a mod that made pregnancies enabled, but I don't have it anymore, apparently, so whatever. Um, which I'm not complaining for anyway. I really didn't use it that much. But, um, ooh, goodness, ooh, goodness. Gianna's about to do it, you guys, again. Or are they? Okay. And Toby's like, okay. <laughs> like, he's a man, you know, he has needs. <laughs> Gianna, I don't know what I'm going to do with the sim. <laughs> Like, she just woos who's everyone. The bed was squeaking. Did you hear that? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. For G's sakes. <sighs> Gianna. What are we going to do with Gianna? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> This is what she like this is what she likes to do, guys. She likes to have fun. You know, she likes to sleep around, you know. She likes to do her thing, you know, she likes to have, you know, nothing harm in it. No harm in it. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to end this part here. Next part we are gonna do so many things. I just want you to get a feel of these characters, of what they like to do. You know what Gianna likes to do. <laughs> uh and who she likes to do. <laughs> okay. But um, anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought about this part. Tell me what else you want to see. What is she wearing? Oh, that was just a glitch in my hair. In my custom content. Okay. But um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I don't know how it's going to happen with these three. I really don't. So yeah, just like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me what you thought about this part. Um, tell me what you want to see more in the future parts. I'm so excited for this LP. And uh, I will see all of you, my besties, next time. Bye. No, that's so awkward. I will see you all next time. Love you guys. Bye.